Welcome to this week's episode of Gardener's Plot, what's new in the garden. So today is Plot Door, Plot Door, Plot Tour. Yes, it, we're going to look around the garden, aren't we? Um, yes, Plot Tour time. This is Maddie, by the way. She's a lab, Springer, Collie, aren't you? Yes, you're very pretty. Yes, I'm trying to talk to the camera. It's not all about you, no. So, we'll do plot tour in a minute, um, and at the end we have some excite exciting news. Burr, burr, burr. Right, should we crack on the plot tour? You can show everyone around? Yeah? Right, let's crack on. Yes. You ready? Mwah. Right. Maddie's ready? Are you ready? Right, let's crack on. As per usual, we'll start at the top of the garden. So I have got some play sand, and that's to go in Saskia's Avery, and that's gonna be a dust bath for when things get put in there. I'll tell you about that at the end of the episode. Bug wall, still going. I did have a little peek and there was a few beasties sort of spiders and things but it's doing what it should do offering cover and things like that and then the iris in the sort of micro pond it's got some seed heads let's come out through the random oh remind uh, i'll have to remind myself to tell you something about a tank later on as well miss saskia come here it's there Oh, look at that little face. Uh, I've got you some food. We'll give you some food in a minute. Um, hostas. It, even the hair wasn't enough to stop the slugs. We will have hostas at some point. This is Boston. My... Oh, what were they? Amastils? They seem to do all right. They're in here for the moment, and then once I swipe the bog garden, I'll move them across to there. Um, Saskia's Avery is nice and covered now by the American Ivy. It's now starting to rain. I'm just trying to train this to go various places. <laughs> Bear with. Otherwise I'll forget. There you go. Um, pond needs a little bit of maintenance um, so yeah I need to sort of cut back some of those weeds and pull out some of it as well but at the moment it we've still got all the frogs around as I say and I can't see any while well, it's wet at the moment isn't it it's raining so they'll be foraging for food but Leah has now come into flower kind of getting wet oh some nice blackberries that I need to pick as well. There's a little bit of maintenance to do with the garden, I won't lie. But as a whole, pond has done alright this year. Not lost that much water through evaporation because of all the pond um pond plants and things like that, but it's now time I can start sort of sorting it out and cutting back some of the vegetation and things like that. Oh, and we've got some little cherry trees growing as well. So I don't know if to keep them there or move them and give them away. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Fern garden is just the fern garden. It'll gradually get thicker throughout the year um, as all the seeds and that start to grow. It's been nice and protected in this shaded spot. So it's not really been that affected by the hot weather that we've had. It's always nice to provide nice lots of cover. Right, let's go through our secret garden tunnel and I'll see you on the other side. So 
So I've got some nasturtion that's just been growing up here and sort of around the boot. There's some really pretty yellow flowers on it. We have grapes. I have no idea what species they are. It came from my last house and the label has gone. I have no idea what they are, but we'll soon find out. Raspberries, are, I did weed the other day, but obviously we've had sun and rain, so everything's just like, yes! Rhubarb has gone a bit epic, which means we can have some more rhubarb gin. And there are some autumn raspberries as well. So I've been picking those as and when. Still a bit of spinach left. And strawberry plants. Let's back it up. There's Maddie. Mm -hmm. Black elder, I need to sort of trim back and train over that side a bit more. Um, it's not kind of on that, but higher, so we sort of walk underneath it. But at the moment, it's all right, but I need to sort of sort that out. You're making lists for me. Allium seem to be finishing up now. There's still a few bumblebees. There he is. Got fresh growth on the gooseberries that I planted this year. Same with the um, blueberry. Red currants have all finished. Oh no, this is a gooseberry bush. Pull you back out a little bit. Red currant again. I need to weed. Some more raspberry on this side and some black currant. Didn't have any black currants this year, randomly. Um, sweet corn. We have sweet corn. We seem to be having things grow in. This is um, a mixture, so we'll have some strawberry popping corn and some other sweet corn. I can't remember which is which, but I like surprises. And my three little pieces of comfrey have now a massive bush. But bees seem to love it, so I'll try and make some compost out of that at some point. Weeds everywhere, I know, I know, don't shout at me. And I'm not even going to show you the greenhouse. Oh, I'll show you a little bit. We'll show you the banana tree. Maddie's pad and pull. <laughs> See, the banana tree seems to be doing okay. We've got lots of new growth and things, so. Again, look at my greenhouse. But, we'll come back to this in final thoughts. Oh, sorry, it was a bit fast then. Right, let's go have a look down here. compost bin well my compost pile is gradually getting bigger now i think there's a few potatoes growing in there uh so i managed to get all that cut back so that's my new compost area got rid of all the mint chops all that down give that to the rabbits my bay tree has gone really massive this year and there is a little rosemary bush i'd go in the buddha the only thing is new is these hanging baskets. So I managed to get some of these little gel pads to line it. And I've put the moss on top to help retain any of the moisture that does go in. But I just thought some pretty flowers and then I've got a little one of succulents. Did some dinner, right? The chicken, she has got access outside. I don't know why they're still in. I do have an empty bed. I'm not sure what to put there yet. Suggestions on a postcard or comment section. Let's go slowly. This is the dog area, Boston's Bone Yard. Oh, doggy statues come down. Still love them. <coughs> oh, excuse me for that. Sunflowers were doing okay until the sun hit them and completely annihilated them. Same with my sweet pea, so I'll try and clear those at some point. Guineas are still under cover, they do need cleaning out. 
but I have now got a hydrangea. Plan is for that to go out the front garden, but at the moment, nice and protected here. Seems to be doing okay. And then my pots. They seem to be enjoying the weather at the moment. And then, see if you can see everyone. This oh, the sheep is now called Gavin, after my friend in Wales. So, hi Gavin, if you're watching. And we have Hamlet. We still have need names for everyone else, like him. And this is what my mother bought me. Gotta have a unicorn. Right. Let's keep going. Chickens destroying things. Go to the side bit of allotment. So no more potatoes or peas. We just got some leeks on the go, which seem to be of a nice good watering from the rain. We need to sort those out as well. You know what it's like, life and everything. Now let's see what's going on over here. Again, apologies about the wind. I chose the best day to do it, didn't I? So tomatoes seem to have gone crazy. <laughs> Lots of tomatoes. And there is some... <sighs> Good old cabbage butterfly. And there is some squash in there as well gone a bit crazy again i need to sort this out chickens are muddy you might just be able to see the rabbits there's hazel you see little falcor the little face so again not much going on at the moment just a few things so we've got the sweet corn which is doing well rhubarb and grape so we've got grape for alcohol of some description rhubarb description so probably rhubarb gin that's all you need really there we go and you have fly by quick tour it's lovely weather right so it's the girls they're on slug duty at the moment right let's get back up into the studio and i say studio it's my shed but i like to be fancy what do you find the thoughts right do me a second so there we go, just a quick plot tour. Um, I chose the best day, lots of wind and rain. So yeah, not, like I said, not much going on, but little bits here and there in my little pockets. Got a little long, as long as my arm to do, like weeding, sort the greenhouse out. Ah, greenhouse, first thing. Oh no, first thing was tank. Let me go back to the tank. So I have got plans to set up a native species fish tank basically so i've got some sticker backs that i want to some nine spines at work which need to be rehomed and released but i might um set up a nice natural tank so with heavily planted and things like that i don't know if i have it in here or in the home but um i'll probably do a video on it and how to set up a fish tank as well people don't know I actually do work with fish I've got a lot of fish lots and lots of lof, lots of fish at work um, and you've got some fish that are trained to chase robots smart fish um, so yes I so I want to set up a fish tank again don't if you want to show set up in here so you can see it or again answers in comments uh, what else so that was fish tank greenhouse I did suggest about making it into sort of like a little botanical garden, but I might actually turn it into an animal enclosure for Teddy. I've got some ideas, because there's quite a lot of glass missing, it's not going to get too hot, but I can patch it up with mesh, it's not bigger space, and it might mean I can get my little friend as well, because you'll have more space to play. So yes, greenhouse is no longer, no longer going to be a greenhouse, it's going to be enclosure. So I, w I am planning to get a plot at some point, an actual allotment, so I might move things up there. So that was it, wasn't it? Where's he gone? He's gone back to bed. Um, so yes, still go back, native species fish tank, and then new enclosure for Teddy. 
Ah, exciting news that we have. So, the eggs finally hatched in the incubator. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, which links are in below, you'll have seen that we have some baby quail. <laughs> I literally can't cope with how cute they are. They're like this big. So we had 10 hatch out on Monday. I got uh, the first one hatched out about half past five. Um, and then that evening there was one that had pipped and had a substantial crack if you like to, um, started got up in the morning still no chick so I got a pair of tweezers and very delicate 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 delicately got there in the end um, helped chick out so sort of left it for the day in the incubator came home which was fine I say she it was fine apart from that his leg was sort of wasn't using it properly one of its legs it was like it sort of it sat on it all day so it was a bit dead and not and glad it come back to life so throughout the evening i sort of monitored it and sort of kept on testing it sort of like getting it out and sort of putting just the one leg in my hand to see if it would grip and it started to do it um but now it's fine it's got still got that slight limp i don't think it'll be completely gone um so she she again it the smallest one and it's now my favourite so it's now named Egg so if it's a male it'll be Egbert if it's a female it'll be Eglantine but future videos we will probably feature Egg quite a lot because I love her so yes we now have 11 quail I still have three eggs in the incubator but I'm not sure if they've survived or not there's something definitely in them so they still got a good couple of days to bake, so in a couple of days' time, I might sort of ta um, open up the eggs to see if there's anything. If they are still alive, if they're alive. If not, things happen like this. So yes, and then next week I will the I will do the video on them hatching out and stuff. So you've got that to look forward to next week. They're so cute. They're tiny. Um, so tell you what, at the end of this, I'll do some footage of the just of them as they are now and then next week you can see the video of them hatching out and things like that so yes we have i finally have quail it took me about a year but i finally got them oh <gasps> they're cute so yes uh, so the 11 so we've got six that are your normal wild type of beauty color then i've got one that's po probably going to be white completely white and then I've got four that are sort of probably going to be a mixture of white and brown. So, yes. Don't know what I'm going to do with them all yet. I'm going to keep them all. Now, I'll probably see what race, what flavours I've got and what ratio. And then go from there. But at the moment, it's too, they're too young to tell. But some... Oh, they're just so cute. I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, right. I've waffled on for long enough. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. Everyone likes a good news round, don't they? I do. Um, so yeah, egg, um, quail video next week, and then we have a couple more videos, and then I'm on holiday for two weeks in Turkey. Yes. So I might, I probably won't do a video for those two weeks, but if, I'll probably post on Facebook and Instagram. So again, check those pages out because I do post quite a lot. What did I do the other day? I done um, a little thingy of Saskia as well. I like pictures of when she was a baby. Would you like a video on Saskia growing up? If yeah, put yeah down in the comments. You know what to do. You're you're not new to all this. If you're new to the channel, hey. First time watching this channel as well. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. You don't have to press the notification bell because I know how annoying when you get like sixty notif notifications of different videos. So you don't have to press the bell, but if you do, you get notified when you get and you get to see me and various animals. We have dogs, chickens, ferrets, rabbits, guinea pigs. Well, you didn't see the guinea pigs today, but they're normally in. There's other videos with those. There's an entire video dedicated to them as well. So check that out. Right, again, I've been waffling on for too long, so... Um, check video next week and various plans. And I'll go now and take some footage of the babies hopping around. And, oh, my God. 
Stay cute. Anyway, hopefully you're all enjoying this lovely weather this weekend. And I'll see y'all next week. Toodle bit.